I'm Dan O'Connor of Hydro Armor Systems. Today's job, another redo. Five years ago, one of the low bid companies lit this job for $5,000. We're here five years later to rip it out and redo it. The price for this job is $9,000. It cannot be done properly for five. I'm going to show you why. The first thing that you notice, look at the concrete. I already know it's not a wide enough trench. What do you got? Three quarters of an inch? About a third of the concrete needed. Third of the work, third of the cost. That's how you low bid. Look at the wall. They're soaking wet. The back of this plastic is wet. This is plastic. There isn't any mold on here. Some of these guys sell you this PVC pipe with this black liner, which is an antimicrobial liner. No mold will grow in it. Mold doesn't grow on plastic. This is PVC pipe. When the salesman is in your house, he shows you a certain kind of pipe. This is not what he showed you. This is three inch garbage. See this? This is the PVC pipe all the way up here. Down here is where the water is. Here's the bottom of the footer. I didn't put the water there. If you dig your trench to the bottom of the footer and you put your pipe down at the bottom of the footer, there isn't going to be any water. Here's the pipe up here. This is the width of their trench right here. The water is down there. The trench really needs to be this wide. Can you see how wide it needs to be? $5,000. Can't do a job properly. Can though, if you're only breaking out this much concrete. I need to break out this much concrete. If I'm only going to dig my trench to here, it's a lot less volume than this. This is about 20% of the actual labor that really needs to be done. Here's your crock. This is what you get for $5,000. Galvanized. You look down inside that crock. There's supposed to be piping that's going into this crock. Well, where is it? I don't see it. Let's break up the floor here. Don't need any kind of hammer at all. There we go. Okay, there's a PVC pipe. How's it supposed to get into that crack? What's that all about? Huh? Weed poles. My other favorite thing. They got weed poles in here. Oops. They missed the mortar joints. This is the mortar joint. Right here is the mortar joint. Look up here. Water can accumulate in there. And then one of these holes is above it. So if you don't drill this out, that water can build up all the way up. All right? Got it? We getting on the same page yet? They drilled two thirds of the weed bolt. They did two thirds of the work. Now this, this is the trench. You're roughly right there at 16 inches. Six inches for the footer, 10 inches beyond the footer. That's what a proper trench looks like. When you pay too little, that thing that you buy can't do that which you bought it for. And you've just thrown that money away. If you do hire another contract, watch my videos, see how the effects have to be done. Sit in the middle of the basement and make sure they do it. And you'll get a good job.